Yep, there you go guys and girls. It's here, it's the Day of Reckoning Tractor Scratch Duo. I haven't gone for scr Tractor Scratch Pro. Uh, the reason being is the main difference is running two decks and four decks. Um, through my work, uh, mainly corporate bookings, weddings, I'm not ever going to need to run four decks. Maybe when I do a little bit of club work, but at the moment I'm surviving quite happily on two decks. Therefore, it's Tractor Scratch Duo for me. Uh, the box has already been unpacked. Some of you would like to see an unpacking of the box, but uh, there's enough videos on YouTube about that. Uh, I'm more in the hooking up of Tractor. Somebody's already asked me when I get my Tractor Pro or Tractor Scratch Duo, would I please show you how to hook it up? It can be a bit daunting for those that haven't done it before or when you open the box and you find all these little boxes and wires and things. So we're just going to do a quick run through of what you get and how to hook it up. Right then. As you can probably imagine, I don't get paid for doing these videos. I don't get gear given to me to review stuff because I am not about giving out in false information. The gear is reviewed punk style, as you can see, and honestly, uh, i.e. if I find a product I don't like, then my God, I'm going to slate it and tell you about it. But by the same token, finding a product I do like, then you're going to know all about it, how good it is, and how happy I am with the company that supplied it. So, this is why you're getting honest reviews on good gear, but not expensive gear, as opposed to expensive gear. It's probably good, but I can't afford to buy it, therefore I can't review it. Anyway, this is what you get with Tractor Scratch Duo and Tractor Pro alike. I just hold these over here so as you can see them. You get two of these snakes, a little bit like this. It's a wire in loom. They look very daunting, all colour coded, lots of connectors on them. There's two of those, one for each deck. You get yourself, don't know whether we can see down here. Here we go, real punk style. Let's uh, put a bit of light on it. There it is. It's the uh, Audio 4 DJ. Whoa, just don't set light to the camera or the uh, sound card. It's the Audio 4 DJ sound card. On the back of there, there is, again, let's see if I can just tip it over so as you can see. Four phone, sorry, eight phono in, a USB in, and a ground port in case you're using turntable. We're not using turntable, we're setting up for CD. I've already set up part of it for speed because it's an exact mirror of the other half. And your USB cable, hey, that's just plug it in and send it straight up to your computer. Okay, we'll leave that tilted like that. First thing you'll see is just get a little bit more light in there. They're all color coded red, yellow, white, and black. And on the end of your snake that you have here, you also have red, yellow, white, and black. And it tells you, just see if we can get a better picture there. Are we going to focus? It says on there, connect to sound card in, connect to sound card out. So on the back of here, it's labeled up as in and out, and they're color coded as well. This really can't go wrong. So if we just pass our cables round like that, fortunately I haven't got a tripod for the camera as you've heard on other videos. This is all done with a camera phone because I can't afford a camera. It's DJing on a budget really and trying to help you guys that are also on the budget to get decent gear at the right price. Tractor Pro and Tractor Scratch Duo are currently on offer. Um, they're not on offer on... Uh, native instruments at the moment just turn it around so you can see me talking to you they're not on offer on native instruments uh, website at the moment they were on offer between september and the end of november where everything was basically half price i managed to pick up my copy of tractor scratch duo all the time code vinyl all the time code cds all the cables and the audio 4 sound card for 150 pounds that is the price of an audio for sound card normally the reason being i've since found out is shh, 
talking to one of their reps on the phone, my phone bill's incredible because I keep ringing people, that Tractor are bringing out a whole new version. It won't be upgradable. You will, from uh, Tractor Scratch Duos, Tractor Scratch Pro, Tractor Pro, Tractor Scratch Pro, it won't be upgradable from there. You will have to buy the whole new software and that will be coming out early on next year in 2011. And it's apparently something to really sing and dance about. Hence, they've discontinued the Scratch Duo and the Scratch Pro at the moment. Um, when stocks have gone, from what I've heard off this rep, they're gone. That's it. Uh, hence, they're selling them out at half price. You can still pick them up from stores now. £150 on Scratch Duo. And I think he said it was £250 on Pro. Giving you on Pro the Audio 8 sound card, which is... Uh, 8 in, 8 out, allowing for send and return on effects and your four decks, which, to be honest with you, something I won't personally use, hence I went for Duo for the two decks operation. Anyway, back to the snake. We've got our one end in now on the sound card. We drop that down there, out of the way, lean over, grab our mixer, and I should be able to tip it up on its end like this without dropping it there we go all our ins and outs now on the other end of your snake it's labeled up again for you the one of them says connect to cd player and that has got phono input not phono output or phono male that's phono female on there so obviously you need a set of rca cables from your cd player into there that one says connect to mixer phono CD line. That depends on what you're hooking up. We're going to be hooking into the line because it's CDs we're using. And that one's connect to mixer line. Why is the three on the end, you ask yourself? This is the clever part about tra tractor. What we're going to do is we're going to hook in to start with. In line, into line, go in red to red, white to white little bit wire and a plug up which is green to green brown to brown and blue to bits from uh, what I learned anyway your next one in there a little bit like that and then your RCA cables come in from your CD player there they are and they go into the RCA there and that's your one side all set up Again with the other end of your snake, like I said, I'd already half done this. RCA is from your CD player in. RCA is out. Line to line. And line to line. A little bit like that. Now, the thing you'll find out about Tractor is the idea of if you're running time code on your CD or time code on your vinyl, what happens is... This channel here, the way I've set it up now, this is why you've got two line outs. That will play from your PC or from your Mac, your MP3 files on time code. This one, however, if you eject your time code CD, put in a normal CD, open the fader, and you get normal music from it from the CD. Same again on the other side, which to me is a Fantastic idea. There's no swapping cables over. You've not got to buy any extra cables, etc. They're all in there ready for you. And that allows you to play time code on one, which brings in your MP3 files for you from the computer and normal CDs on the other. There you go. A little look into setting up Tractor. Practice and enjoy.